look a little bit better now. I'm gonna take this off because it's in my way. I used to try to do makeup with my um, scarf on, but most times I just realized it gets in the way because I really can't fully get into my hairline or my forehead. Oh my gosh, there we go. And I'm letting my hair kind of do its own thing today. And if I look like a child, it's because I am. Where the freak is my hair? Y'all, my setup is super like bootleg, super. So I don't have a mirror, so I'm gonna use a compact mirror. First of all, I need to wipe it off because it's dusty as the heck. So we're gonna do a little chit chat, get ready with me. It's my first one ever. And I'm kind of excited. I'm just gonna talk about what I was supposed to talk about yesterday, but life did not let me be great. But we're gonna start off um, with what we were supposed to talk about yesterday. So my life is a joke and a half because I woke up yesterday with good intentions to record, like super good intentions to the fact where I did record. I recorded a vlog. I did half on my phone, half on my camera because <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. I need a new brow pencil already. So my brow pencil broke and I'm trying to put it back together just so I could use it today. This is how much I have left. <laughs> we gonna make it work. Anyways. I was saying yesterday I had good intentions to record. I recorded a vlog. Half of it was on my cellular. Half of it was on my camera. The half that was on my camera was not really on my camera. So I didn't have footage. I cleaned my room for y'all. We were talking, we was having a good time. I decorated my backdrop my background to make it a little bit more holiday i did all of that don't have none of the footage i plugged it into my computer and somehow it went wrong so i was really upset i was really really upset because i was like it's the first day of december i'm about to you know ball out and make some good for y'all and do something nice for y'all but that didn't happen so I was like, okay, let me not get upset. You know, God might have other plans for me. So let me just do something else. So then I was gonna record a get ready with me. So I started recording that and my camera died. And by that point I was just over it. I was getting ready for work. I was gonna be late. So I just, I just threw in the towel and I was like, you know what, maybe this is a sign. I don't know what kind just yet, but this is a sign that I just need to pause for the day and focus on whatever I needed to focus on yesterday, which was getting to work on time. So I just paused and now I'm here today. We're gonna try this again. It is December 2nd. I mean, we're already a day through the new month. But I'm gonna try to get popping for y'all. So here we are, trying again. I got a clean room, and y'all know, y'all know what it's like to sleep in a clean room with clean sheets, and your room is nice and vacuum. Like, I don't care what nobody say, your room could be a hot mess. Your bed could be full of junk and gunk and not even made. But if you vacuum your room and close your closet doors, then your room is automatically clean because 
like just vacuum in your room and having the cleanliness of the vacuum marks on your floor that's that's it that's that's it like that's all you need but my whole room is clean life is not gonna try me today there it is i rebuke that life is not going to try me like it tried me yesterday it's not so i hope y'all are having a good sunday my day is going pretty swell. I haven't done nothing. I did like my morning routine, my meditation. I talked on the phone with my best friend for like an hour. High key, I've been on the phone all morning. High key. <laughs> Cause I talked to Rika. I called her at like 9 a.m. Well, she called me. So we talked and then Shia called me around 11. So we talked and now I'm getting ready for work because I work at 2.30 and I feel like I started filming this in good time compared to yesterday. So I should be getting started on the right foot. So what did y'all do today? What are y'all doing today? And if it's not Monday by the time you're watching this, it probably will be. What are y'all doing? Or are y'all working? If you don't mind sharing, go ahead and comment down below what you guys do on a day-to-day -day basis. Like from beginning to end. Because I'm not, when I'm not working, I'm sleeping. Or trying to record videos. Trying, keyword. Because... Most times when I try, it never happens the way I want. Or I'll record a video, but I don't ever upload it because I'm like, I'm not about to upload a half ass video. Because I try not to be half ass with my makeup. But sometimes, it just goes that way. So I'm trying to think about what I want to talk about today. Um, just because I don't want to be rambling on here. Because I feel like y'all could tell when I'm just talking about bullshit and like talking out my ass. I need to stop cursing. Let's talk about how I got into this makeup stuff. Because I got really good. I feel like I got really good really fast but then I kind of plateaued because I didn't really focus too much on it because I was in college and stuff but 2018 I really got in my bag with my makeup I really got in my bag okay so I've always been really girly like high school middle school elementary school my dad always was like you're going to be a lady. So a lady I am. But makeup to me, when I was in middle school and stuff, nobody really wore it. It was something like that my mom just had and I would always sneak and wear it when I was in middle school. And I used to get in trouble. Boy, let me tell you. My mom would catch me. She was like, oh. Are you wearing eyeshadow? And I'll just be like, what is eyeshadow? No, a good and damn well I'm wearing eyeshadow. So she would always get on me for that because she would be like, you're too young. You're too young to be wearing eyeshadow. But when I was in middle school, I used to go to middle school in a predominantly white area. So my school was predominantly white. All my friends were white. And I don't know what it was, but like my white friends, they always grew up a little bit quicker than me. So they were wearing makeup. They were doing like the mascara, the foundation, like literally the whole nine. And here I am. I just wanted to put some gold on my eyes to look like somebody. So yeah, I was always interested because I'm like, if y'all could do it, I could do it too. 
wrong because growing up in a black community or in a black family you're too young to do anything and if you know then you know you're too young to do legitimately anything so i was too young to wear makeup but i was sneaking wear it so then high school came along and my mom she started being a little bit more open you know to me wearing makeup so i still never wore foundation i was still like dip my hand in the eyeshadow put it on my eyelid put mascara on and call it a day so fast forward to about my senior year in high school that's when i started like getting into my eyebrows and stuff and lord if y'all could see how my eyebrows looked like there's pictures from my 18th birthday and i tried to do my eyeshadow i mean not even my eyeshadow i tried to do my eyebrows and they looked a hot mess like when i say a hot mess i really mean a hot Hot, 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 hot mess. They were brown, like, brown, like, not even my hair color brown, just brown. And just everywhere. I was, I'm so ashamed, but, you know, we all have to start somewhere, right? So that's when I really was like, okay, this is cool, this is fun. So I started getting more deep into it then, trying to do my wings and yeah my wings looked a hot mess too but you know i was doing something because nobody else was doing it so i was good even though i was trash so fast forward again to college my freshman year i will never forget i wore it was my first day my first college football game i went to family by the way shout out to the rattlers it was my first college football game and i had bought this family t-shirt um, and the t-shirt said FAMU across and it had leopard print in the words. So I said, <laughs> I hopped online and I was like, I am about to put leopard print on my eyelids. So I got on YouTube, hopped online and I looked at it and that shit was so easy. Cake. Cause mind you, I'm like still a creative person. Like I could draw, I could paint. I could uh, do calligraphy letters like I'm good boo I'm good in all that type of creative artsy stuff like get at me so leopard print cake so I killed that everyone liked it enjoyed it so then I was like all right so I'm getting kind of good feedback at this and I really enjoy doing this because it's like dang I could create art on my eyes too so then in college I finally bought my first um my first ever foundation and sidebar i work at nyx cosmetics nyx professional makeup my bad and every weekend we have theme days so since it's the holiday time um our themes are gonna be around holiday so today's holiday is um i mean today's theme is mistletoe so we gonna see how I could do a mistletoe on my eyes, but I think I'm gonna do a cut crease first. Um, I'm gonna do a cut crease on this eye and then probably the mistletoe on this eye because I could draw better on this side than I can on this side. So yeah, boom, back to the story. So I was like, oh, I could create, um, oh, I already said that. I bought foundation that's what it was i bought my first ever foundation and the foundation that i bought was like maybelline i think it was maybelline i could be lying it was one of them no but it was like a mousse foundation so here i am with this mousse foundation and i just knew i was doing the damn thing so got it boom foundation <laughs> too dark so I never wore it because it was way too dark for me. So I actually don't know what my first like real foundation was because after that, I kind of just like dove in. I also had um, one of my floor mates when I stayed in the dorm. She was very into makeup. So her makeup always looked bomb, like super bomb. And I was like, ooh, like I want my makeup to look like that like that like that like that 
it looked so good and I might be lying when I say this because I really don't remember but I feel like she worked at MAC or was going to apply to work at MAC because her makeup was just that good and it was good for like that time during that time nobody really wore makeup like that and especially not how we do makeup nowadays that was not even a thought so her makeup looked good like it looked really really good so she was kind of inspiring and i was like oh my god i'm just gonna keep practicing because i want my makeup to look like that then that was my freshman year so then I just started like practicing, 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 practicing. And then my junior year in college is when I really was like getting into it and like really getting good. It was trash, but it was good for like that time. So I was really into it by then. And now here I am. Now I really enjoy doing this just because it's kind of like an outlet for me. Like doing makeup, buying makeup is so relaxing i would have never thought that i would have fallen in love with it the way that i have and that's just because i don't know like there's so much you can do with makeup like people transform themselves with makeup and granted i don't use it as a transformation but more so just fun like people really use this stuff to transform themselves my camera stopped because the video was getting too long, but that's how I got into makeup. And granted, I'm still not where I want to be because every single day I go back and forth like, do I want to be um, a makeup artist as far as working on people like freelancing or do I just want to, you know, post my looks on Instagram because it's fun so every day I go through that I don't really advertise myself as a freelance artist just because I also have um, another job I work in elementary school so I do that too and I'm just like makeup is something fun for me but at the same time it's definitely lucrative so I'm trying to transition into doing makeup, you know, full time, but it's hard. It's definitely hard because not every day people just want their makeup done. And every day I don't even know like if I want to do makeup full time or not even full time, but like do makeup on people full time because it is just something really, really fun for me as of right now. Like, yes, I'm good at it, but I don't want it to be one of those things where, like, I start doing it and then I get tired. Because I'll be super excited to do something new and then I'll get tired and I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore type thing. Granted, I don't think makeup will ever, you know, tire me out. But i do um thoroughly enjoy doing it mostly on myself mostly on myself though <laughs> don't ask me to do your makeup i'm just kidding but yeah i mostly enjoy doing it on myself because it's just it's just so fun like you know you know yourself better than you're gonna know another person's self especially with like features like i've learned how to work with my eyes being small and hooded and then it's like now i gotta learn how to do somebody else's makeup if their like eyes are not like mine i'm not complaining though at all so i really don't want anyone to think that i'm complaining because i'm not i really enjoy what i do so yeah that is the backstory of me getting into makeup so yeah to go ahead and um i guess elaborate on what i do outside of makeup too because i do work at a school not a teacher yet but that's 
That is really my end goal. That's what I'm trying to do. So, I take my test. I've taken this test about three times now. And I have one more part to pass. And when I say I'm such a horrible test taker, I'm horrible at it. And I think that's why I'm not motivated at all to pass this test because I just hate, I really, 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 really hate taking tests. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. Can taking tests be a pet peeve? Because it's fine. That's why I'm not going back to school. None of that. Because it's just, it's really not for me. Like, I'm not going to say school it wasn't for me. Because sometimes I do enjoy learning. But I like learning about stuff I want to learn about. And I have a degree. And something that I have absolutely no more interest in. So, there's that. But, um, yeah. I work as a paraprofessional. What, basically, what they do is work with children but on a smaller level so certain kids they need extra attention they are not on grade level so i work with those students that aren't on grade level and need extra assistance but i'm actually like high key getting over that because i'm like i want to elevate in my makeup so I'm trying, I'm really trying not to lose focus with my education stuff because I do also want to do that. But like, right now, makeup is my priority. That needs to be my priority because it's going to pay my bills. But it's just like, I don't know. It's not what I want to do, for real. But at the same time, I'm not trying to be broke. And I need to start somewhere. And that's that's really going to be like my start. It's going to be how I pay my bills, how I move out of my parents' house, you know. So, yeah. But I'm never going to give up. I'm not going to give up this makeup stuff. Because this is like where my heart is. So I kind of just stopped talking because I was hella concentrated on perfecting that eye. But, um, what are you guys doing for the holidays? Like, are you guys traveling? I'm not traveling because I have a retail job. And that pretty much prevents me from having any kind of fun during the holiday season. Because we have to be working every weekend. And we have blackout dates, so I can't really make travel arrangements because I'll be working. So comment down below what you guys are doing for the holidays. If you're traveling, where are you going? I would love to know because it might give me some ideas for the future. And, um, yeah. So I'll be here. I think my grandparents might come over. They came over th for Thanksgiving. So actually, we might be going to see them this time around. I kind of hope so. I really enjoy going to my grandparents' house. I just really enjoy being around my family, honestly. And it may not seem like it because most times I be to myself. Like, all the time when they come, I be to myself. But... I really do like just being in their presence and having them here because I don't know but I'm weird because I don't ever like reach out to them too much I know I have to do better about that like I really do because every time I call them they're like oh is this Taylor who's that and I'm like it's me man. but no I do have to do better like a lot a lot better and I said I wasn't gonna do a cut crease on this eye but the way things are going I might as well 
I might as well do one. So we're just going to do one. Are there any holiday traditions that you guys have? I don't really have any. We kind of do something different every year. Um, I'm not really sure if this is a tradition or not, but we always pray before we open up our presents. Like we always open our um, gifts in our pajamas. Um, and we say a prayer before we open them. I don't really know if that's a tradition though. Cause I feel like that's standard. Like I feel like that's something everybody should be doing. But hey, I can't tell everybody how to live their life. I can't tell everybody what they should believe in. But that's just me. Wow. I cut this crease way better than I cut the other one. And it was way, like, way less effort. Maybe the key is not to think about it too much. Okay. But yeah, we do pray before we open our gifts. What else? We cook breakfast as a family. But like I said, every year we do something different. Like this year my mom's talking about having brunch on Christmas. Like, I don't know if she really wants to do a Christmas dinner. We're still going to have to eat dinner, of course. But I think that would be pretty cool. You know, like having mimosas and stuff. Having a big spread. But I really want seafood for Christmas. Because most times we have the same food that we just ate on Thanksgiving. But I think seafood will be bomb. I love seafood. Like shrimp and salmon I think that'd be really really good really really fun but it would really just have to be me my mom my dad and my brother because seafood is expensive and we don't have monies to be you know flying everybody out and having seafood for them we can make dessert for them though but not have seafood I don't know how people do these chit chat, get ready with me's because I don't have nothing else to talk about. Maybe if I ask y'all, but then people don't really be participating in my Instagram polls either. So, oh no. Oh no. But I think I'm going to cut this part short, like right here. If I think of something else to talk about, I'll talk about it. But as of now, I'm just going to, I guess, just record the rest of the process of me doing my makeup. Because I don't have nothing else to talk about. And I don't want to just be on here talking about nothing and rambling. Because then that's wasting your time. And mine. And I don't like people wasting my time. So I'm not going with y'all. So yeah, if y'all have topics that you think I could talk about, then comment down below. DM me on Instagram. I'm pretty, like, I'm getting better at responding to my DMs on Instagram. I'm not trying to be one of those people where it's like, um... She don't, she too good to respond. I respond to things. I pick and choose though, because some people just be in there with the shits. So, yeah. Let me know what I should talk about. And I'm going to speed the rest of this video up. That's for sure.
wow i literally did that let me let me show y'all like i did that bro you see my mistletoe come kiss me boom like i did that so look at my lips this this is a whole look okay a whole little look a vibe that we got going so it's 1 53 i have to be work at 2 30 i'm about to hop out this beer i'm about to get dressed um i don't know if i can really show y'all my outfit the way my room is set up right now and the way my time is set up because i still have to take pictures photos of this because y'all i'm so proud of how this came out like i need to start recording my looks more often just in case they be coming out bomb like this so i hope y'all have a good day i hope y'all enjoy yourselves and i will be back again for sure because i'm trying to be all that so don't forget to like comment subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this video i tried to like mellow the vibes out for y'all because that's how i be feeling when i do my makeup like i listen to chill ass music so i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope y'all learn something probably not because most times people just watch videos for entertainment like myself so yeah if you guys have any questions you can dm me on instagram i'll have everything down below so just make sure that you thumbs up you turn on my post notifications so that way you guys know when i upload it'll be very here and there but i'm trying to pump out some content for you guys this month since it is the holiday season and i could get a little bit more creative so that's my spiel. Yeah, see you guys later. Bye.